that young man's name was Dylan Roof, a uh, young man, uh, uh, about a year or so ago, I guess it was, he came into this church, they were having a Bible study, and he pulled out a gun, and he killed people. He drove all the way from North Carolina here to murder people, and he wanted to start a race war. And so when you're out there Uber driving, you never know who's getting in your car or what their, uh, what their philosophy is on life. Uh, how they might feel about other people or, you know, we need to respect everybody regardless of race, religion or whatever. Show mutual respect to each other. That's the first step in being a good uh, ride share driver, in my opinion, is you've got to know how to treat people. Uh, and I don't get into a religious conversation. People, even though I'm the ride share chaplain, I do not force my faith on anybody. Um, that's just simply inappropriate. What I do is I live by example, the way I carry myself, the way I treat people. They watch me, they see me, and uh, if they bring it up, then that's fine, but I don't bring it up. Um, you know, I know they tell you, don't talk about politics and religion, and that's true, but if they bring it up and you feel so led to share your faith as to what you believe, then I think it's okay. We still live in America if they ask you. And you've got a dash cam. They asked you. Uh, I don't see a problem with that. Um, I've had many people I've been able to bless uh, who have gotten in my car. They going through hard times. I've had people get in here and have just lost. Uh, I, I believe God, uh, everything happens for a reason. I don't think we just accidentally end up where we are in life. And um, I do ride share to help supplement my income. Uh, I'm going to be retiring from my permanent job here in about a year, maybe two years, depends on how things go. Um, and uh, I work in law enforcement still, but I work in a jail at this point at my age. I'm 65. So I'm thinking I'm, it's time for me to retire. Um, and I've been dealing with people all my life. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that, uh, you know, people get in your car, don't take it personal. Sometimes they have a lot of stuff going on in their life. They're troubled. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes you can't get a conversation out of people. If they want to sit quietly, let them sit quietly. If they want to talk, let them talk. Um, but always be kind. Always be kind and sincere with people. Um, and as a Christian, you know, we're taught to let our light shine among men, that they see our good works and glorify our Father, which is in heaven. And so how we treat people, even in the ride share business, uh, we're being, you know, it's very important how, how we treat people. And you never know who's getting in your car. That young man came here from North Carolina, right in our city, and went in for no reason and killed a bunch of people. And uh, this community here responded greatly. Both black, white, Asian, Hispanic, all came together and said, this is not what Charleston is about, and uh, joined hands. And so I, I thought this would be a good topic because from time to time, you're gonna have different people come in your car. I saw a YouTube video not too long ago of a person who was uh, being racist toward the passenger and I understand they were deactivated for it. Well, they should have been. Uh, that's, there's no place for that in ride chair. Okay, it's a great way to supplement your income, uh, but why create drama? Why create a problem? Be kind. You know, they might be in your car 10 or 15 minutes. Me personally, I don't do long trips. I, I started out when I didn't know any better, I take a long trip. The problem with long trips is usually you can't get a trip coming back. So you end up losing money or breaking even. It's just not worth it um, for me anyway, in this market, it's not worth it for me to do long trips. So um, I, I don't do long trips uh, because I find that I lose money on those. So. Uh, what I like to do is little short trips and down here in the French Quarter You know you get a lot of tourists. They just want to get from point A to point B usually short trips Maybe three dollars four dollars here. Believe it or not you do enough of those those add up really really fast And you can do pretty good on a Saturday or Sunday You know uh, you can make about two maybe 230 240 depending on you know how you treat people and you get a lot of tips on top of that so um, I do pretty well downtown. So this is my favorite place to Uber. Also taking people to the airport. I take a lot of people to the airport, come right back downtown. 
I learned the hard way. I don't sit on the airport lot, even though I, sometimes I used to like to. And I'm going to do a video on what happened when I couldn't, when Uber would not let me sit on the airport lot. And we'll talk about that. Um, and, uh, but I actually, it worked out for good because I do better by not going to the airport lot. Just drop them off and come back downtown. And within a few minutes, I have calls. And usually they're short calls. Sometimes I get over to what's called Mount Pleasant, which is another area that's not far from here. And that's a lucrative area to do Uber as well. And as you can see, I have another call. So this is the last signing off on my second video. Uh, you guys take care. Bye-bye.